Okay, welcome everyone. My name is Mark. I'm a personal trainer and sports scientist and this is my fourth video in this series of the most frequently asked questions on the internet regarding health, fitness and nutrition. So the fourth question is, do I need to take dietary supplements? Let's dive into it. So if you've been following this channel for a while, you know my opinion regarding supplements. Generally speaking, you don't need any supplementation if you are on a proper diet, meaning a balanced diet. So if you're not on a balanced diet, let's say if you're a vegetarian, then you're missing sort of protein and that's when you should take protein powders and so on and so forth, depending what your goals are. Not saying that you have to take protein powders if you're a vegetarian. So let's get into this a bit more specific. Generally speaking, a, what is a balanced diet? A balanced diet is a diet which is rounded in terms of all macronutrients. So you take in protein, fats and carbs in the right amounts for your body. Body. And this might be different for, you know, different people. Some like more a high fat diet, high carb diet, high protein diet. And that's preference. That's not what we're talking about here today. The question here is, do I need to supplement? If you have sort of a balanced diet, if you're not going, let's say, into ketosis or into like paleo diets and stuff, and both of them are fine, you know. <laughs> you know, here it comes again, you know. <laughs> I hate saying you know, I can't believe it. In case you have an unbalanced diet, you're eating fast food, you're eating just too much of one source of energy, let's say too much fat, too much protein, too much carbs and everything else you're sort of ignoring, or you're on this American diet where the actual foods you're eating, you might be eating whole foods, but the actual food itself hasn't got the nutrients as it had before, or GMO foods like genetically modified uh, organisms. All of these sort of foods, if, if that's the case, then your body will lack some sorts of nutrients and that's what when a dietary supplement makes sense. For example, a multivitamin. I'm not associated with this brand, but you know, a multivitamin is always good to make sure that you've got all your minerals and micronutrients tackled because also on a balanced diet, it is more or less impossible to get the exact amount of 100% of every single nutrient you need in a diet. So taking a multivitamin tablet is absolutely fine when it comes to dietary supplementation, generally even if you are on a normal diet because of the reason I just explained. The second thing I want to address is supplementation versus substitute. So a lot of people think that when they take a protein powder, they misunderstand the actual meaning of a supplement with a substitute. So what they do is supplementation means it's on top of your normal diet. Substitute means I'll take something out and eat something instead. Simple as that. And there's a big confusion. So people then take a protein shake instead of eating a chicken breast as a snack, for example, that wouldn't make any sense because the chicken breast itself, because of the way you digest it, is just so much more valuable to your body. And the way the protein is released into your body is also different because there's no fiber. Everything is stripped away from the protein powder, the satiety effect of it, the way you feel afterwards if you're hungry or not is different if you eat 100 grams of chicken breast or the equivalent in protein powder. That is just the case. That's my personal experience, experience with my clients, that they feel hungrier if they are on supplementation instead of in the substitute. Yeah, th that's just something I want to point out here because that's a big confusion out there where people say, should I be taking this instead or on top or I don't really know what to do. The third point I want to address is that there are obviously supplements out there which are performance enhancing and they will get you to your goal faster. But are they necessary to reach that goal? Clearly no. And if that is the question, do I need to take them? No, you don't. But what I do want to address in this third point is I want to talk about supplements, which I think are good to take in addition to your, you know, that's why it's called a supplement to your normal diet. That is a multivitamin. The reason being, I just explained that before, that even if you are on a normal diet, like a full or balanced diet, you might not be getting all the micronutrients and so on and so forth. Not just because you might have calculated everything and everything is fine, but because of how food is produced nowadays, food is not what it used to be a hundred years ago. So even if a banana says that's how much potassium should be in the banana, we can't really know and make sure it's always GMO and organic food. The other thing I always recommend to take is fish oil because, <laughs> half price by the way, fish oil, omega-3 fatty acids are essential in your body for so many things. If it is one thing, it is to reduce inflammation, it is part of your, your cell membrane, it's part of, helps to, to actually lose weight. There's so many benefits of taking a fish oil or if you don't eat fish on a regular basis, supplementing with fish oil is absolutely mandatory to get your omega-3s on point. Another supplement I recommend is vitamin D3. This is involved in your bone health and structure because it helps to absorb calcium. It's important for your immune system to be sure that that's running on point and general muscle functions, vitamin D is always a good thing to have. Last one I wanna talk about is creatine. Creatine is 
a good supplement to take if you are into sports if you are into lifting then this is a, a very good supplement it is not necessary for the normal joe who just goes to work and so on and so forth because this supplement has to do with increased performance in terms of increased energy supply because what it does it actually supplies more energy to your muscle while you work out it's called creatine phosphate and you know when you work out and your muscle contracts it uses atp and then comes creatine so if you have creatine as a substitute you will be able to lift more weight you will be able to push one more rep at the end you will see you will be much stronger in the gym taking creatine therefore it increases your performance it will get you to your goals faster it is aiding in weight loss as well so there's so many benefits to it but before starting to take it make sure you watch my video all about creatine so let's wrap it up in terms of the question do i need to take dietary supplements it is a big no you don't need to take any supplementation if you are on a balanced diet now i also talked in this video about the benefits of taking some of them and if i would recommend to take them but generally speaking to get to your goal if you want to lose weight or build muscle you don't need to take any supplementation that's the answer to the question if you like these kind of videos punch the like button if you want anything else answer leave a comment in the comment box below and I'll see you in the next video.